Dooby dooby doo, the ocean is blue, and uh, now it's not, because I drained it all. You see this monument? Bam, now it's drained. You see my sanity? Bam, now it's gone. I spent over 300 Minecraft days draining this giant area, and now I'm gonna spend many more days transforming the entire thing into the coolest mega base ever. We got a lot to do, so let's jump right in. First things first, I have a confession. The monument isn't fully drained. <gasps> I'm unsubscribing! You see, the underneath of the monument is still filled with water, so I gotta place a bunch of sand there to fill it up. And now it's filled. Next up, this area is a bumpy, bulgy beep boop. And I hate bumpy, bulgy beep boops. So I gotta flatten it. Let me just yoink. And now we got a beacon. Let's play a game, shall we? How long did this area take to flatten? A, one hour. B, two hours. Or C, three hours. Trick question! It took seven whole hours just to flatten the ground! Man, I hate terraforming. But now that it's flat, I can fill it with dirt, place some patches of grass, and wait for it to spread. While I do that, did you know I stream every minute of gameplay in this world, right here on this channel? We have some funny moments. Say, the gone my nuts. No! No, Hydra, no! And some downright sus moments. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Give Papa a shot. Uh, uh, uh. Remote. <laughs> if you want to come along for the ride, all you need to do is smash that sub button and click the bell and you'll be notified next time I'm live. Noice! The dirt is placed and now this place looks more beautiful than that sexy green alien in the other video. But that's just the beginning. Now I need to go Hulk smash and break down the walls to hollow out the entire inside of this place. Whoa, hold up. Before I do that, I want to let you know that this video is brought to you by a cool thing I did. David, this is the second time in the series you've done a fake sponsorship segment. Shut your little face, uh, butt, uh, face hole up, you little, you little bitch. At this point, I had spent ages on this project and my iron farm hadn't been loaded in. So in order to maximize iron production, I decided to rebuild this bad boy in the spawn chunks. This way, it'll be producing iron while I waste my life away playing a block game. Step 1, build an iron farm at 0-0. Zero, zero. Step 2, uh... Step 3, profit. Now, back to hollowing out that monument. The monument is hollowed out, now time to check on that iron farm. Okay, it turns out the spawn chunks aren't always at 0, zero. After placing sand through the end portal, I found out this is actually the world spawn. So if I build an iron farm here, it should work, right? Nope! There are now three iron farms in this world and none of them work when they aren't loaded in. That's it, I'm deleting my channel. As Einstein once said, if you can't do something, just give up. So screw the iron farm, and let's just keep working on the monument. Next up, Prismarine is cool, but uh, Deep Slate is cooler. So now for the part of the video that actually matches the title. See this floor? Now it's Deep Slate. See these walls? Now they're Deep Slate. See this llama? It's still a llama. I don't know what you thought would happen. Hmm, this Prismarine has to go. Prismarine, gone. Nether wart blocks, placed. Shroom lights, added. That's better. Now that the monument's transformed, we gotta make the rest of this area beautiful, just like me. You wish! I take it back. And I can do that with a giant deep slate staircase. Wow, it's so cool! I wish I was a giant deep slate staircase. I'll also move my nether portal to this super top secret location that absolutely no one will find. Unless they have eyes. But this area still looks plain, so after some intense thinking, I decided to create a crop farm! I don't know why I screamed that. I just wrote that part of the script in caps because I thought it would make it sound cooler. Anyway, we have mega loads of llamas, but I want more, so I'm gonna need a lot of wheat to breed them. Thus, the wheat farm. If you want to know why we need so many llamas, it's because I'm going to be naming them after all of you guys. All you need to do is comment on this video and let me know what you want your llama to be called, and in the next video, I'll name them all. With a few finishing touches, this right here is my new mega base. Fully 100% done. Oh wait, I still gotta do the inside. 